Good morning, everyone. Today I'm joined here with Susan Kramer. She's a realtor licensed with Coldwell, Coldwell Banker, sorry, on track realty, and she specializes in real estate in central Alberta. So thank you, Susan, for being here. I really appreciate it. Oh, thanks for having me, Jody. Yeah, for sure. So Susan, us being in the spring and it's beautiful weather out there, I think this is a time where a lot of people are thinking about, should I sell my home? And one of the questions I think that's quite important for people to understand is what kind of things do they need to consider to get their home ready to sell and market ready to be ready to list on MLS? That's a great question, Jody, and one that I'm often, often asked. Yeah. And the thing to remember is that the photographs that are taken of your home are the first impression. The mm -hmm. next impression comes when you can actually convince somebody to come out to your home. So it's the advice that I'm going to give you. I've got five little tips and they're okay. all related to how to get your home ready. So it looks the best photogenically that it possibly can. So the first item is to clean and declutter. Uh, this means uh, putting away knickknacks so that you don't have a lot of stuff out on your countertops and on your desktops and on your um, furniture in the living room, that kind of thing. Uh, actually removing furniture items sometimes. Sometimes people have a lot of things in their rooms that if you just removed half of them, it gets a lot easier for the potential buyer to envision putting their own things into that room. Right. Uh, closing closets, believe it or not, are another big one. If you can make a closet look about a third to half full, they'll think it's bigger than it is. Right. And then just sort of general stuff. If, if you keep the mantra in mind as you're going through and doing this decluttering, that less is more, you're going to be a lot more successful than if you just think, well, it looks great the way it is. Because right. it looks great for you and your family, but it may not for someone with no imagination who can't envision their own things on the property. Yeah. Um, the next thing, the number two, is to depersonalize. So this means photos, trip mementos, um, things you saved on the fridge from when the kids were growing up or if they're still growing up, stuff you have on the fridge. It's hard for someone to think of their own family in a space if all they can see is someone else's family. So again, neutralizing and just making it more generic than mm -hmm. you would generally live in. Right. Uh, a third thing is to make any repairs that are needed. So for example, if you have a faucet that's dripping or a toilet that's continually running or um, a, 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 a cabinet door that's slightly askew, if you can repair those things so that they sound and look better for that first impression, it's going to go a long way. Yeah, um, and I'm sure someone would find that out in a home inspection anyways, right? Yes, it would be pointed out in a home inspection, but those are things that typically don't cost a lot of money, right. but they can they can really make your home appear to have been a well-maintained home, whether it was or not. Right. And that's really important to buyers as well. Yeah. Um, the next, the fourth thing is to enhance for curb appeal. And we're coming into the perfect season for that because you can actually get nice, fairly inexpensive potted plants right now mm -hmm. at the stores. Mm -hmm. And one or two of those on your front stoop can go a long way again to adding a splash of color to the front of your property and giving it that little bit of extra appeal. Right. Um, and as we move closer to summer, of course, we're going to be cutting grass and doing that kind of thing. So as you're showing your property, you need to make sure that the grass is as well cut as you can possibly get it all the time. Because right. people will do drive bys and check out a neighborhood long before they come into yeah. a home as well. Makes sense. Okay. And then the fifth and final item is to stage your home. And this can be as simple as rearranging the furniture. So again, it may not be the way that you would typically live with that furniture, but just to rearrange it a little bit so that it's, again, making the space look more spacious, but setting up sort of conversational areas so it's also very inviting. Mm -hmm. I had one client, for example, who collected rabbits and she had all kinds of different rabbit statues and they were sprinkled throughout the home. So rather than having them sprinkled, I took a behind the sofa table and I did an arrangement of all of her rabbits at different heights on that table and it was amazing it became a, a real focal point for her living room and I think in the end helped sell just because it looked more appealing than it did when they were sprinkled throughout yeah, for sure so I guess the point is little things right uh, it sounds like all these things added up they're just small things but little things yeah. can really go a long way yeah. To yeah. helping with that first impression when somebody is either viewing those photos or taking a walk through the home or like you said even a drive-by and looking at the property itself 
Yeah, exactly. Those first impressions are so important and you never know exactly where they're going to come from. So the, the cleaner you can keep things, which is actually the bonus point here, clean really is important. And if you don't have time for anything else, deep cleaning is one of the best favors you can do for yourself when you're trying to sell your home. Yeah, I can see that. I think yeah. most people appreciate a, a clean home. Yeah. Well, thanks for that, Susan. I think that information is really helpful. And I've put your information at the bottom. So if anybody has any questions at all, you're getting ready to sell your home and you're wondering, um, please reach out to Susan. I know she's be more than happy to help you out. I would. Thank you. <laughs> thanks so much, Susan. Have a great <laughs> hey, day. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.